In my last tutorial, I showed you all how to build the very simple BRD mechanism. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to implement the mechanism more complex um, mechanics, like a fully working differential. Um, I've scaled the BRD mechanism down just a little bit um, to be more effective. But this differential works just like any normal differential would, where one wheel can be stopped and the other one continue rotating. Um, it does take quite a bit more time to build than the regular BRD device itself, but it works just as well as any differential, if not better. In Gary's mod, to get started, you're going to need um, a size of plate. I'm going to be using these larger plates, plates just for uh, demonstrational purposes, but we are going to want five of those. You're going to be needing some sort of base prop to um, connect it all to. Uh, for this, we'll just use uh, one of these. These will work. So, let's make everything 50,000. We want to make all of the uh, plates no collide all, so just right click with your no collide tool. So, to start, we'll get out our easy precision tool, move. And we're just going to place our first plate just like that. We will nudge it. I believe we want 50 down. We'll try that. Nope, we don't want 25 more. You basically want the plate to be just about in the center of your base prop. So we have that one. Now we'll start with another one. I'm going to want this one to be 45 degrees offset from that one, and we want to move that 100% down into the other one. Okay, now one more, just like that one. So you get something that looks like that, like a traditional BRD device. So, now is the tricky part. We want two plates to be in the same spot at the same time, which kind of gets tricky when you're constraining it. So, are the plates going to be 90 degrees perpendicular to the first plate that we placed? And the other plate, in fact, let me color these differently. Okay. This one's going to be red. This one will be blue. That'll be green. Okay. So, this other plate has to be in the same spot as the blue plate, which is kind of tricky to constrain once it gets in there. So we have that there, and as you can see, they're kind of graphically glitching because they're in pretty much the same spot. So what we have to do, we have to get our fading door tool, and we'll just set the one to one. So that was the blue one, and we want to set that to two. So now we can fade them both. Okay, easy enough. Now we want to get out our axis center tool. We want all plates center axis to the uh, main prop. Okay, so now we're going to fade one of them. One of the middle ones. Axis it. Fade the other one. And there we go. So now all plates are properly axis. Now here's where the tricky part comes in, where we have to rope them all. We are going to... let's fade in door. Let's fade the main prop so it can work. Okay, so your rope tool. We will work on the red one first. So just like any standard uh, BRD device, we're just going to go from bottom up to the top to the bottom again so you get that up arrow. And then we're going to go on the opposite side and do the opposite thing. From the top to the bottom to the top again. So we get again top arrow over here and a down arrow over here. So once we get that, we're going to fade our blue one back in and get rid of our red one. So now we will start with wherever the rope is from the blue one, which in this case it's on the bottom on this side. We'll start there, we we'll go up to the top, and go back down to the bottom on the green plate. So then we go on to the opposite side and do the opposite thing. The rope is up the top of the blue plate this time, so we'll start there, and then to the bottom, and back up to the top. So that is really... Let's get those both faded in. 
That is how you make a BRD differential. We'll center axis that, and then we should be able to unfreeze all of this and get it to work. I've got some wheels in here. Those aren't too big at all. Connecting wheels to the BRD device, you're going to connect one wheel using weld or ball socket, depending on how your wheels are positioned relative to the BRD device. Um, you want one wheel to go to one of the plates, in this case the blue plate, and then the other wheel to go to the other plate. So what you get, gotta hold that unfrozen. If we freeze that, we rotate one. The other wheel rotates in an opposite direction at the same speed as the other wheel. If you have that, you know the differential is built correctly. So when we rotate the main base prop, you can see both wheels are spinning at just about the same same speed. And if we froze one wheel, the other wheel will rotate at twice the speed of this main center prop. So that is how build a BRD differential. Happy building.